Hello, fellow travelers. I'm Jeb Brooks with greenergrass.com. Right now I'm in Chicago, Illinois. I'm on my way to Greensboro. This is a, a pretty typical business kind of trip for me. I wasn't going to make a video about it. It's on a CRJ200, which of course I've covered before. Uh, but I think, this is a little weird, but I think I just saw a celebrity sitting in the gate area here. So I'm going to go see if he'll, uh, he'll spend some time with us. So forget, this is about to be kind of weird. Hey, hey man, I, I'm sorry, but um, would you mind if, if I asked you a few questions? Yeah, how are you, man? I'm great, so it's really you. You're really Dennis Bunnick. Are hey, you Jeff Brooks? <laughs> That's amazing. Hey, 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 look, I'm just watching one of your videos. Wow. Thanks for is, that. It is buffering. Don't, don't forget to like it. And double click the, the oh, thumbs so, down so button. Double click that one? Yeah, that's that's perfect. And that's, then and then like it. That's thank you. Thank you for liking it before you watch it. <laughs> hey listen, uh, you know, we put it out to Instagram that, that we ran into each other. Maybe we can answer a couple questions. Yes. Let's All right. answer some questions. How about you get some sleep and we'll talk tomorrow? I think I uh, I think I need to. <laughs> All right. I've, I've hit the wall. <laughs> How'd you sleep, Dennis? Like this. <laughs> very, very peacefully. I must say, lovely, lovely hotel, great sleep. So that brings up a good question though. Why in the world are you here? I am here for two reasons. Three reasons. One, to see you. The second reason is I really wanted to see whether the grass is greener, right? <laughs> and thirdly, now this is the big one, right? On behalf of the entire aviation YouTube community, I have been sent here I have been sent here. We've all put some money in, all right? Actually, Paul, Paul, Sam, uh, Josh, Blake, you actually each still owe me two bucks, so if you could send that through, that'd be great. Um, I've been sent here to make a delivery in honor, in honor of the fact that you are reaching 100 subscribers or are literally about to reach 100,000 100, subscribers. Ah, this is a KLM limited edition, 100th birthday edition, uh, Boeing 787-10. Oh, your favorite windows. Exactly. <laughs> Paul would be impressed. Well, thank you so much to all of you uh, in advance for paying him and for you right now for advancing. This is really cool. I mean, it is pretty exciting uh, to like see 100,000. It's mind-blowing is what it is. Well, we were talking about this before. It's it basically, for each of us, this is a hobby that just got out of hand. <laughs> so true. neither of this is our core business. We have just did this to keep us busy while we travel a lot. <laughs> And it's just gone a little bit berserk. So, I, and that's only because of everybody out there. So, thank you very, very much. Absolutely. I'm not at all angry that he's got to 100,000 subscribers before me. <laughs> not at all. No, no, not at all. But I think that's been the the coolest. I've said this before. I think the coolest thing about this hobby is that we've been able to connect with people who share a passion for the same thing, right? And this is a. We were joking. It takes a fair amount of ego to be willing to believe that what we have to say is of interest to it turns out that we both have a fair amount of ego so which yeah. um you know we do have a lot in common yes a and that leads to some of the questions so we posted on instagram uh yesterday i'm at jared brooks flies this is dennis bunnick travels uh so be sure to follow us there uh, that we were that we were together and we asked for some questions and uh there are a couple that uh that i think are worth answering and some that are not <laughs> You know who you are. <laughs> it's true. Um, uh, here's one. Blake Edgington, speaking of Blake, which of you has the better hair? That's not even a question that needs to be answered. It's true. To it's ask, true. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Look we, at this. this we know. Fancy, this fancy, yeah. It's a leftover from my 50th, but... Uh... Yeah, it's clearly it's clearly me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's... Oh, here, here you go. Is this actually a coincidence? Yes pure chance that we both happen to be in Chicago <laughs> flying to Greensboro at the same time. Now this was was pre-arranged. Well to be fair dude actually I surprised you yesterday in the airport. Yes yeah I'm not sure whether the the, the run up the hug and the kiss was necessary but the um, <laughs> it was fantastic to see. I've just come off a long haul flight from from Amsterdam on that uh, 747 with, with KLM and uh, about to get on the shuttle bus to catch my my flight here, and suddenly there's Jeff. Hey, do, do you do YouTube videos? Excuse me, do you make those YouTube videos? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That's a very nice surprise. Uh, so here's one from Antoine2003. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. What's the weirdest or uniquest airline uh, the both of you have been on? What's yours? I think for me, 
Uh, I've had a couple of really cool charter experiences, but scheduled airline experience, I've got to go with Air Azores. I used to say Air Azores, and it was clear in the comments I was wrong, uh, but I flew I from... I can't imagine you being wrong, though. It's true. That's, that's what it takes to be on YouTube. Never making a mistake. <laughs> Uh, I flew from um, Boston to Punta Delgada on a um, an A310. That was a really cool flight. How yeah. about you? Uh, I did one last week. Air Sinai from Cairo to Tel Aviv. It's the only airline that does the um, that route, and it's actually a subsidiary of Egypt Air. But for political reasons, Egypt Air doesn't or can't fly to uh, Israel, so they've created. Air Sinai. The plane has no markings on it. Inside, it's all Egypt Air, and uh, yeah, cool little flight. Only uh, just over an hour. Full meal serve, though. Now, one of the quirks. There's a review coming up on that. One. That's what I was going to say. One of the quirks of this hobby is, you know, this isn't our full-time job, so we don't know when these things are going to come out. So, I will either link to the description if the video has been posted, <laughs> or anyway, you'll be able to find it. But I'm sure that's going to be good. I'll watch it. You should watch it too. Was there one? Can you fly WestJet? Yes, can you fly WestJet? You can, you just have to buy a ticket and it's very easy. I'm in fact doing that in a couple of days time, flying from Calgary to Vegas. Now my sister-in-law lives in Calgary, tells me that that is the party flight, so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Dennis on a party flight, but there's some warm nuts. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm gonna cut that, that's, that's really, I didn't mean to. Okay, my friend Eric, who is a, a Delta frequent flyer, asked, why are you flying United? Um, and that's because it was the direct flight from, uh, excuse me, the non-stop flight. I don't know the difference between direct and non-stop. Well, this is one of those cultural things. In Australia, we just say it's a non-stop flight. Here you say direct, or is it well, the other Well, way? direct means one thing and non-stop means another. Anyway, it was the way to no, get No, we fly direct, you fly non-stop. But it's like, whatever, there's a thing. Dan always flies non-stop, he's even in his name. <laughs> non-stop Dan, every time. <laughs> I don't know. Dan, you also owe me two bucks. <laughs> Basically, if you here's here's the plan. If you make a video on YouTube about airplanes, you owe Dennis two dollars for this. Yes, I think that's a good racket. That, that is a good racket. <laughs> My favorite type of plane, Dinosaur Trevor, A three fifty. Fantastic. Me too. Hands down, without yes. a doubt. To look at the seven four seven, fantastic, beautiful aircraft. But to fly the passenger experience, A three fifty. Yeah, it really is. Uh, I've had the best sleep. Like by far with the A350. That was those 15 gin and tonics you had. That did help, yeah. <laughs> that did help. Oh, here's one. Jasper Hughes, I think, is asking me the question why haven't you flown BA? Um, and the reason is Dennis Bunnick. <laughs> <laughs> this question from Harry Benjamin 46 Are there any major airlines that neither of you have flown on? Delta. Delta for you. Qatar for me. Yeah. Still haven't flown with them. No. Uh, and Virgin. Um, Virgin Atlantic or Virgin Australia. You've never been? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, this is a great question. That's a really good question. Yes. So JW Aviation uh, asks, what is your favorite trip or trip report you've ever made? Singapore Airlines first class suites. Nothing more needs to be said. Sensation. YouTube gold. Um, and uh, mine is uh, the Island Hopper video I did. United has a flight that goes among five of the Pacific Islands from Honolulu to Guam. I, I like, this is strange to say, but I, sometimes I find myself watching that video again and it just makes me happy. It just makes me happy. Takes him to his happy place. <laughs> I'm a very simple man. Oh, here's a, this is a good question for Dennis. How many passport stamps do you have? This, this is from uh, Philip Chavez. I have, two, I have two passports, Dutch passport and an Australian passport. Um, the Australian one, I actually got the fat one. And in that passport, um, dozens and dozens and hundreds of stamps. Um, but there were 14 Egypt visits just on that one passport, five in my Dutch passport, and then my old ass passport's got probably two or three in there as well. So. How do you decide which one you're going to use it, depending on how the visa works or what? Yeah, whichever is the, whichever's the easiest. But so like my American uh, Esther is on my Australian passport, so I'll always enter here on my Australian passport. And to clarify, he was born in Holland, right? I was, yeah. yes. But I was very young then. <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's where you were born. Um, okay. Yeah, you were born here, aren't you? Native, yeah. Greensboro, North Carolina. Uh, Flossing Central. No question. Just tell Dennis I said hi. Hey, Dennis, uh, Flossing Central says hi. Thanks. Hi. 
All right, uh, Caden Hunt asks our, our favorite airline livery. I really like the Royal Jordanian. It's got a classy, a classy one, a classy livery. Yeah, I'll give you that. That's uh, we saw that yesterday when we were hanging out in the lounge, and or I did. I think you weren't here yet. Yeah, no, I flew them a couple of days ago. Um, I flew everything a couple of days ago. <laughs> you really did. Um, I think I'm a retro livery fan, so anything like older. Um, mm -hmm. There's some really cool ones flying around the U.S., and of course, those British Airways retro liveries are are pretty pretty amazing too. So, ah, here's a good one. This question is from Sam the Beast. How are you? He's a beast. Yeah, he wants to know how you are. Oh, yeah, look, I'm okay. Oh, look, I've been a bit jet lagged. I've just had a very uh, busy week in the Middle East, uh, and I've got a busy week coming up, but it ends with a conference in Vegas. So at the moment, I'm good. <laughs> uh, end of the week, it might be a little bit uh, dodgy. Um, which actually brings up a good question. And somebody asked this, I'm sorry I'm not seeing it here right now, but uh, how do you deal with jet lag? <sighs> There isn't a real secret to it. If I arrive, if it's overnight flight and I arrive in the morning, I try and stay awake all day. Um, when I'm traveling, I'm traveling for work and stuff, I'm generally running on adrenaline and I'll just keep keep going anyway. Uh, as long as I have some downtime, it's okay. Yeah. I don't often have it that I can't fall asleep at night. I just wake up early in the morning. That doesn't tempt me to go to the gym though. Well, I understand that. Um, so for me, I have a very, let's call it a controversial view on jet lag. I think jet lag is just a lack of sleep. Like at the end of the day, I find that I feel the same way after a really long flight uh, as I do if I get like two night, two hours of sleep the night before, right? Yes. So for me, it's really just about sleeping when I'm tired. Um, if I'm traveling for work, it's a total, you're right about the adrenaline. You just, you just gotta power through. You, yeah. you, you gotta make the meetings. Um, speaking of work, there were several questions about what we do for a living because we've mentioned in many videos i think mm -hmm. uh, that this is only part of what we do this is not a full-time job we just happen to travel a lot for for work um so i what do you do can i go what, first yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, tell us tell us what do you do <laughs> <laughs> so i um uh, work in my family's sales training business so we develop um sales training courses for Primarily industrial manufacturing companies, capital equipment manufacturing companies, medical device companies, those kinds of things, uh, and then deliver those training courses all over the world. Uh, so I get to travel a fair amount with 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 that. Yeah, uh, that's my business. How about you? Fantastic. Um, I do this. That didn't work. I'll try, to, <laughs> I'll try it again. I do this. It's a small group touring company. Well, basically, I work in the travel industry. We have a couple of family businesses where. Um, we, we create small group tours, so our main brand in Australia is Bunnick Tours, same as my surname, it's that ego coming through again. I should say my company's the Brooks Group, so I, I get it. Yeah. Um, we, we do small group tours for Australians all around the world, and just earlier this year, um, we launched the small group touring company, which is our international brand, that's sold in Australia as well as here in North America, uh, sending people around the world for uh, small, group, small group tours. So I'll say it because he's too humble to. If you're looking for a, a, a way to travel and not have the hassle and the stress that goes along with figuring out the itineraries and that kind of thing, this is a great option. I've taken a look at the, some of your brochures and stuff. It's definitely worth taking a look at. I'll include a link to the description. Uh, he's not sponsoring this or anything. I'm just a fan. You want a little uh, little dentist in your life? Check out small... <laughs> Yeah, although with all these $2 that I'm collecting, I could give that to you and then I could sponsor this. That's a good point. Yes, that's a good point. This video is brought to you by the Small Group Touring Company. <laughs> we have some wonderful tours going to Europe at the moment, as well as from the USA. You, you can go to Peru, you can go to uh, the Middle East, Africa, and uh, Asia, Sri Lanka, Japan. Some really good, anywhere. Some good stuff. Anywhere that's worth going, mm. you could go. Yeah. Hey, listen. But if your people need training, this is the man to see. I've just visited their offices, Brooks Group. Looks fantastic. They're right here in the centre of Greensboro, but they operate all over the world and, and all over the country. So uh, get your training needs at the Brooks Group. And now, after this mutual admiration society <laughs> meeting, it's been great having you here, Dennis. Thank you so much for having this uh, celebration. I cannot believe how fortunate uh, I am to have reached this. Uh, milestone and this is a special treat from uh, from you and the rest of the community that we get to celebrate together. So. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Congratulations. Man. Thank you. This and thank so you to fun. all of you. Yeah. Dennis said it best. This is because of you. It's like 
we, we just do this to have fun. And as you can see, we like to ham it up and you're part of it and thank you. Well, really, the, the only reason we do it is because you, you guys keep feeding our egos. So <laughs> it's, true. it's true. If you stopped watching, We'd, we'd be upset. We really would be. So please keep it up because we are fragile and we, we need the support. We have, this is uh, it. Dennis, thank you so much for coming to Greensboro. What a cool treat. I know. And what a cool city this is. I've got to come back. Got to see the rest of it. Maybe small group touring company is going to add it to the list of uh, locations. I, th I think it's only a matter of time. I'll be the guy. <laughs> Hey, uh, seriously, thank you for coming. And uh, we were talking actually as we were coming over here and uh, if this happens every now and then, it's pretty cool if somebody recognizes us and says hello. So if ever you do uh, see one of us in the airport or anywhere else for that matter, say hello. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, don't be shy. And if you're in Adelaide and I happen to be out with my lads, with the boys, and uh, you see me come over and just ask for a photo or something like that because it absolutely freaks them out that uh, the dad gets recognized. So, yeah. <laughs> no, if you ever see us in the airport, come and say hi. Thank you for the gift. That meant a lot. And thank you to all of you. I cannot believe uh, this community is at 100,000 subscribers. I can't think of a better way than get to celebrate it with my friend, Dennis. So thank you. Thanks, man. Let's do an awkward handshake with our Left wrong hand, hands. Yeah, because yeah. I'm holding the camera. Oh, yeah. Are we supposed to end with our little like signature catchphrases? So, see you in the sky. As always, happy travels.